We're here live on Piranha Vision, the Championship Practice Edition, presented to you by In the Net. And we're talking with Tom Laubach, Offensive Coordinator of the Central Penn Piranha. And Tom, a few days from now, you're going to be leading the uh, Piranha offense into a championship game. Uh, how does that feel for you? Uh, feels great. I mean, it's been 15 years since I got into minor league football. Thought I had a couple shots before, you know, came up short a few times, but. You know, the emotions is, you know, and I say this to a lot of my buddies that I grew up with, and minor league football is a very small, you know, population across the country, but we take it very serious. And we're at the highest level, you know, a team that we, that we compete with every weekend and week out, and I just can't wait to feel the emotion for the first time. Well, I'm sure you'll be feeling the emotions. Uh, even some of the, the players and coaches have been there before. They're just going to be, you know, emotions will be pouring out of them uh, the entire game. Um, with that being said, uh, from a player's standpoint, uh, how do you think that Piranha will be able to cope with maybe keeping their emotions under control? I, I'll tell you what, last week when we got over the hump that, that's been with this organization, this group of organizations for the last four years, and we, we got over that hump, I, I, I sat back and I was talking to my wife and my parents at dinner, and I was very ple pleased and surprised at the same time where that wasn't the goal. And they were just, it was another win. And I think this team is so focused right now that the emotions will be kept in check, but I really believe that it's just going to be another game to them. And when we do win this game, the emotions are going to just fly out at that point. But this group is focused. They put a goal together in Virginia Beach on May 21st, back when we had our All-Star game. I know that because I was with them. It was my birthday. And we made a pact, about 13 guys. We rented a house at the time of our lives. We're not coming away without a championship. And that core group has led this team throughout the year. Well, that's well, great to know that uh, Piranha have come together as a family, and that's been a staple for the Piranha over over recent years. Things just haven't gone their way, but it looks like uh, you know if, if the Piranha play their game this weekend, uh, there's a good chance they could be walking away with a victory. We got to stick within our game plan. Um, you know, they're an excellent football team. They're very well coached. They're going to be very very prepared. But uh, you know, we talked earlier in the year. My philosophy is, is I got a lot of weapons. I got to find the one that's, that's hot that night and keep feeding them the ball and or spread it around, whatever we got to do. And we just got to take it one play at a time and do what we do and put some points on the board. Yeah, like you said, uh, you got to find the hot weapon. Um, you were able to do that the last time you played the Lions, but it took maybe two, maybe three quarters before you finally found the right parts that were going to piece together uh, a successful offense. So it sounds like you kind of know what to do generally and then it'll be maybe trial and error. They're, they're, I don't think it's going to be much different from that game. They do what they do, we do what we do. That's what good teams do. They make teams try to adjust to them. And uh, on that game, we found in the second half what was working for us. Mark Jarman got on, caught on fire. Um, but we can't you know, expect that to happen, and they're not going to lay down for us. So we just got to stick with our game plan, what, what's gotten us here, and we're going to you know, continue to run the ball and throw, and, and throw it as well, stay very balanced, and try to get all our weapons involved and, and try to, like I said, score some points. And with the defense we have, if, if we could put up 28 to 35, sounds like a lot, but we could put 35 points up. I think we have a shot, but we'll still probably be in a shootout because they're a real good team. That's right. Uh, the Lions, your opponent this week, is a very good team, and it should be for uh, a good championship game coming up. Yep. All right, Tom, thanks for your time, and good luck on Saturday. Thanks.